Games. I'm here to present my new GM mode with the New York Rangers. And you're probably wondering why I chose the New York Rangers. Well, it's simple. I was talking with a friend earlier and he said their favorite team was the New York Rangers. Even though I don't like the New York Rangers, I was having a hard time deciding. So I decided to choose the New York Rangers. And right now we're about to go get a young all-star. Uh, Jonathan Druin from the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we are willing to give up. We're willing to give up Rick Nash. And ooh, we're also going to want an Andre Pollard. Uh, JT Miller. Will they take this? We gotta throw in maybe. We gotta sweeten the deal up. Derek Brassard. Nope. Don't wanna do that. So we'll give away one of our draft picks, actually. So we'll give away our. Gonna have to be a convincing draft pick though, so we'll, have to, we'll do it in 2020. Give away our number one. They take that trade rejected. All right, we'll give away our number two of this year because we probably won't get a second. We probably won't get the second round draft pick, anyways. But there we have it. We have Jonathan Druin who will be available to us next year, and we have Andre Palat. So. Let's see where Palat fits into the team. Uh, I'll keep him on, I guess. Here we go, Palat. Let me put him on the first line, because th this guy, he he gets really good. He has great potential. And here, let's simulate, uh, simulate a bounce. Let's simulate to New Year's. All right. All right, time to put out some scouts. Scouts, scouts, scouts. Uh, let's do it in Russia. Six weeks, all right. All right. Now let me know what trades you guys want me to make, what players you want me to pick up, fire, trade away, any suggestions you could possibly have. And our first game is in shutout, 3-0, nice, against the St. Louis, man, another music genre, blues, what, a, oh gosh, ooh, this will be a tough one. Oh, a shootout loss to the Toronto Maple Leafs, okay. Alright, I have a feeling that Maple Leafs are going to do good in this season because they, they're always doing good in all of my in all of my GM modes. And let's see. Wow, he has no years left. And he has three. That sounds like, because uh, we did just trade away our second round. So a third round would be really nice. So... Yeah, we'll take them. That was a pretty good deal. Because we did, we do need a third round back. All right, so far we're in a, a good form, good form. 3 one, one I'll take that any day. So three wins out of five. See how well we do against the Sharks and we lose. Hmm. That's a Sharker by that bad though, four to one. That's surprising. Come on, let's get this win against New Jersey. Nice, nice. Four to two. I'm thinking, no, that would be unrealistic. I was thinking of getting Carey Price over Lundqvist, but and then nah, that's that's not really a good idea. Well, maybe. Wow, they're six and two. Maybe I should get Carey Price. Oh, we lost in overtime. Okay, it's nice because they did have a pretty good record. Wild. We should be able to beat the Wild. Come on, we should be able to beat the wild. Nice, nice. So five, two, and two for our first month. 
that's that's not bad it's not bad i guess but it's not the results we want all right so let's winnipeg that should be an easy win for the rangers come on the ranger i the rangers can beat winnipeg if we lose that wow winnipeg's actually doing better the best they've ever done in any of my geo modes but we win anyways let's get another one against Ooh, the blues are doing the worst Oh, when we get shut out by them with six losses, Red Wings, that's going to be a tough game. After all, Red Wings are my favorite team for a reason. Mostly because I live in Detroit, but that's, no, because they're the best team in the league. Best team, definitely. Anyways, our month is not looking good so far. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're getting these wins back. A4 and 2. Ooh, against the Penguins? Come on, let's let's beat them. Let's, we gotta beat the Penguins. Seven losses? Yeah, we gotta beat the Penguins. Shut out. Nice. Ooh. Colorado is not looking too bad. I feel it'll be a good year for rookies. Well, no. I don't feel like putting rookies in this year because I want to wait till next year to do that. See how deep we go into playoffs. It's probably after at the end when we get to January. I'm gonna check. Ooh, nice win. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna check uh, Andre Paulette's stats. What points he has been put? If he's been putting up the points we need. Nine losses. Dang. Oh, we should. Let's try and beat the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, we freaking swindled them. Gave them a very old, very old player 30 years old for a 19 year old 80 overall superstar and a 23 year old 85 overall superstar and we beat tampa bay yep that trade really hurt though because next year when he comes up from chl jonathan Druin comes up from chl i have high hopes I always get jonathan Druin and andre palat and i always get deep in the playoffs Either in 2015 or 2016. And we are just racking. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got shut out by Buffalo? We got shut out by the freaking Sabres? Come on. That's that's terrible. But we do get that win against Montreal. Let's see if we can beat the. We can't beat the Tampa Bay. We get shut. We get, nah, What am I thinking? We didn't get shut out. But we lost 5-2. to two. Ooh, the Flyers. Let's see if we can get this win. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, come on. Nice, 5-2, wow. We lose 5-2, then we win 5-2, and then we get freaking shut out by the same team. Well, not the same team that shut us out, but the same team we beat 5-2. Wow, at this rate, I don't think Tampa Bay is making the playoffs. Unless they make like a January, February a playoff run, then maybe. Right now, it's not looking so hot for them. This season is looking too hot, but we shut them out, so that's good. Ooh, the Red Wings. They're looking good this year. Well, not really. Not really. Their wins are pretty close to their loss. Dang, the 13-13. and 13, They brought the record back up. Penguins. So, yeah. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Anyways, I I had to, didn't really want it to be this easy, but I guess it's whatever, you know. But we're going against Vancouver. Easy win. Easy, easy win. 3-2. No, I'm not okay with letting them score, but we lose to Edmonton. That's, that's new. Oh, wow. Three Canadian teams in a row. All right. And we go two for one out of them. So we can beat every Canadian team. Except for Edmonton, which is sad. It's really sad. We beat every Canadian team except Edmonton. That, that Edmonton is not that good. Carolina Hurricanes, 17 losses. Uh, what, what we need on this team is like cons consistency. I mean, that was a pretty close game, but whoa. That's a shocker. We lose. Well, no, no. We. I mean, we did beat the the. 
keep saying we like I'm a fan. But the Rangers did beat them in the playoffs this year. I know this GM mode's kind of late, but I, I, like I said, I didn't really have time. But. And my Xbox Live Gold, it ran out, so. I'll be doing Ultimate Team when I get it back in maybe a week or two weeks. Something like that. And I'll be able to play online. And, you know, I can get you guys some Ultimate Team, but, uh. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be cool. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna renew my membership, but for now we're doing the GMO. Let me know what you guys think about it. Any suggestions you have to make. And we lose to the Dallas Stars. That's not that bad, I guess, considering our record. We have twice as many wins as we do losses. And here we go. Um, so yeah, we're 23 and 11. We're 23, 11 and two, it's not too bad. But we're third in our division, which is, it's not bad, but it's not what I want it to be. All right, so let's check out Marty San Louis. Big, big, big. No, I'm not going to say that, but, uh, dang, 30 assists. He's playing that playmaker role really well 41 points in 36 games i'll take that ratio any day he's the only one that scores more than the games he's played and Stepin, i don't know why he didn't play like why he played two games less than everybody uh but he has 32 points in 34 games brian boyle 25 uh yada 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 andre palat all right, he, he's 23 years old, so I'll give him that. That's okay. He's 23 years old. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's 23 years old. He's putting up 21 points. All right, I'll take that. He's scoring the Wait, let's see. Who scores the most in our power plays? Yeah, he, Hillman and Steppen are scoring, Steppen are scoring the most on these power plays. And so that that's good. At least we know he's a clutch player. He can come through for us. Ryan McDonough has two shorthanded goals. Wow. I didn't expect him. That's the most game-winning goals, though, because that's really who comes out clutch for us. So Marty San Louis, of course. Uh, what's the best shooting percentage? I'm curious. Um, okay, here we go. Fast? Who the heck is this guy? Bro, who the heck is this guy? Seven games, two points. They're both goals. What the heck? He's only had seven shots. What? Get this guy out of here. What the heck? All right, let's check on our goalies. Hendrik Lundqvist. Nice, 93.5%. It's nice, but he's getting old, so we're going to need to replace him. And that's where I'm thinking Carey Price could come in, because he's, he's pretty young. He's pretty young. 21 and 6. Nice. And Talbot. 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 Oh, oh he's 27. Cameron Talbot. We might have Talbot as our, you know. Wow, he has four shutouts and Talbot has one. Alright, so those that's not too bad actually. At least we know our goal he can you know isn't letting in every single shot. Which is good, so uh Alright, I think we're gonna let let's No. I'm going to stop at the trade deadline. And then from there, we'll just we'll we'll see what traits you guys want me to make, for who for who, or if you don't know for who, just tell me what player you want me to get. And you know, that's to be kind of reason, at least a little bit reasonable, you know. Actually, no, sky's the limit. You guys suggest them the traits I should make, and I will make them. And at, 
at the trade deadline, I will show you the stats of all our forwards and of all our players. Oh, wow. Shout out against Anaheim. That's nice. Ooh. We beat both California teams. And um, the suggestions you guys want me to do, and then we'll end the episode right there. Show, I'll analyze the stats, show you who's doing good, who isn't, and then we'll call it a day. 26 and 12. That's amazing. All right. Ooh, loss against the New York Islanders. A bunch of you New York fans are probably going to be mad about that. Well, Rangers fans. One second. Wow. All right, I'm back and wow. Two losses in one month. That's amazing. We can beat Florida. I'd be surprised if they make it to the Oh, what? Overtime loss? Wow. I'd be surprised if Florida makes it to the playoffs. The Panthers make it to the playoffs this year. Loss against Boston, that's reasonable. I don't think the Rangers can beat Boston. People might be mad about that, but I mean, I don't think they can. Ooh, Predators. Oh, wow. Wow, we have not had a win this month yet. We go from only two losses in a month. All right, we'll scout the OHL for forwards. Get Connor McDavid in there. All right, so hopefully we can beat Nashville so we can end the episode on a win. Oh, wow. Wow, this is crazy. Come on. I want to at least get 40, 45 wins this season. That shouldn't be too much to ask. 40, 40 to 45, and I'll be happy. But, wow. Come on. Okay, thank you. We can beat Arizona. Let, let's start a rally. Let, let's, we got to win this. We got to end this episode on a good month. Wow, the, the Islanders have more wins and losses than us. But, wow, that's crazy. But we beat them anyways. 35 wins. We're close to that. Who knows, we might even, let's see how many games we have. All right, so we have like five more games. Oh wait, no, that's six. Six more games, and we, we might be able to, um, that'll be, if we win every one, we get 40, 42 wins, so we might be able to land our goal. Actually, yeah, 45, shoot for the stars. Well, it's not really the stars, but actually, I want 50 wins, I want 50 wins. I'm going to get New York that President's Trophy again. Calgary, they're doing terrible. Not making the hashtag, not making the playoffs. Uh, 38. Let's let's go. We might be, we might. Wait, no, 50 wins, not 40. Ugh, that ugly loss. Hate that. Hate that letter. Hate that letter. Get, get off my calendar. Get that letter off my calendar now. Ooh, the Philadelphia, they're doing pretty good. And we lose to them? Wait, what? I couldn't see the. I couldn't see whether we won or lost. I'll, I'll check. Uh, no. I like the Rangers trade block. Ooh, Duclair. Whoa, he has a elite potential. Hold on. Player. Oops, I removed it. Who 
33 years old. I'm not. I am not. No. What about this guy, though? Where's he at? Where's he at? 30? 30 years old and 69 rated? Ugh. Let's see what we can get for you there from these guys. Wow. They are they have no trade about you. I feel bad for the devils. Yafferson? Or... Oh, wait. Who's... Who's that? Who... Here you go. Let's get this win. Let's go. Waiver claim. He has one year left. How old is this guy? 26 years old? Hmm. No. Alright, so that's the trade deadline. And we're doing pretty good. Number one in our division. Number one. And we're not tied with the Capitals because we have less losses than the Capitals. But more ties, but still less losses. So, yeah, that's great. Oh. Uh, and, yeah, let's check out the stats. So, yeah, let's check out the stats. Marty saying Elise is still our Top score. So, 68 points in 62 games. Got a little bit more goals on his belt and a lot more assists. He's leading the team in assists. So, let's see. Offensive or Jose. Jose Fison. Let's see, all right. All right, so, let's see, who's our top goals? Probably, oh, it's Stefan, then San Luis. All right, so you know what, I'm just gonna run through all these. Just gonna run through all these. Uh, all right, so. All right, so Stefan with 23 goals, 31 assists, and 54 points total out of 58 games. That's not bad. Brassad, Brassard, Derek Brassard, nine goals and 28 assists. That's and Stefan has a plus 21, and these guys, uh, I mean, Brassard has a minus seven. It's not that good. Minus three, Jacob Yafferson, Jose Fison, but he's not. He wasn't. And Dominic Moore, I definitely want to trade him out before he loses his value because he is 34 years old and he's not that good. And But he has seven goals, eight assists, and 15 points. That is not good. Um, Mule, Chris Mueller, uh, for a 28-year-old, that is not good. Six goals, nine assists, and 15 points. Okay, let's see. Matt Zuccarello, I expected him to score a nice amount of goals, but I brought him down, so it makes sense. Uh, I mean, that makes sense, not doesn't. Um, 21 goals, 28 assists, that's okay. 18 goals, 22 assists. <coughs> 16 goals, 24 assists to Andre Palat. That's actually pretty good. It's actually not that bad. And uh, Chris Kreider with eight goals and 14 assists. That's not too good. Sean Thornton with seven goals, four assists. Didn't expect him to do too good, really. I want to trade him out, too. He's 37 years old. Tanner Glass, no goals, just assists, 10 assists. And he's 31 years old. That's terrible. That is just downright ugly. And Marty San Louis with 21 goals, 47 assists. Of course, Marty San Louis for trading him out. Elise Stempniak. Lee Stempniak never really knew how to pronounce his name. 
10 goals, 15 assists, and Jay Fast, 2 goals, 2 points. He has not scored since the last time we checked in. And for defense, we're just going to look at the plus minus. Ryan McDonough with 17 plus. Nice. Dan Boyle with 18 plus. Which not that bad. Dan Girardi, 10 plus. Jay Moore. John Moore. His name is John Moore. With minus one. Okay, that's that's okay. Kevin Klein with plus four. He's 30 years old. Ugh. Mark Stahl, we're going to want to trade him, but he's 28 years old, so I'll give him time to improve. By the time he's like 30, 31, we're going to want to trade him out and get someone young and good. Let his trade value go up. And Michael Costa has no points and has only played 25 games. But he has... Uh, minus three. Oh wait, I forgot to check the goalies. Then we'll check who's at the top of the league. Oh wait, hold on. All right, goalies, 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 goalies. Oh wow, his save percentage went down, and Talbot. Talbot, he he made a name for himself. Okay, 92. He's like 0.7% less than Henrik Lundqvist. Okay, but Henrik Lundqvist, 32 wins and 13 losses. I'll take that any day. The 929 save percentage, not bad. Not bad. And let's check out. No, not the vision entirely. Here we go. We are at the top of the league. We're on our way for that President's Trophy. Let's go. We're on our way for that President's Trophy. What is ROW again? Regulation plus overtime. Oh, we have like two shootout. We have two shootout wins. Not bad. Not bad at all. Who has the best power play? Actually, who has the best penalty kill in the league? I'm pretty sure it's us. No, who has the best? Oh, Chicago Blackhawks. Never mind. What am I doing? But we're not too far behind. We're... We are num we are yeah, the fifth power best power play penalty kill in the league. That's nice. Where's our power play? What's the best? Oh, I think it's us. No, we're about third. Best power play in the league. Whoa, we are not third. Let's see, that's one, two. Six, seven. We are seventh. That's okay. That's okay. So, actually, no, because it's the trade deadline. So, I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave a suggestion on what you want us to do with the team because today is the trade trade deadline so yeah